so Apple has released iOS 15 right here and in today's video I'm just gonna be sharing with you some features that came with this iOS 15 and how visible they are and how you're going to even set up some settings and if you're new here consider subscribing don't forget to like the video share to win one you think this is gonna be helpful to them and without further ado let's just dive into the video so the first changes we had here is on FaceTime so right now you can see right here you can check out create link on FaceTime which allows you to share your links here making it look like a scheduled video so you can just click on create FaceTime and then you click on any person you feel like you want to create a FaceTime with and then you share with them so when you share with them they're just gonna have the notification like this and you can just ask them to join your FaceTime and it looks like it's a scheduling thing you are trying to do right here and after you are done you're gonna see join right here and basically that is how they are gonna see it too and then they're just gonna click on join to join your live FaceTime and this one can just take on zoom because it can make people join FaceTime for meetings and all and one of the nifty thing I really like about this FaceTime is now everyone can just join FaceTime from everywhere if you're using an Android phone or a Windows PC or whatever device you have in your hands you don't have to download FaceTime or you don't have to get FaceTime on your device before you're gonna be able to use it. so with this link you're gonna be able to just share to anyone out there and you can just copy the link like this and you go to anywhere you feel like you want to share the FaceTime link and when you just paste it you're gonna make the person just tap on the link right away and they're gonna join whatever meeting you are having right there so this is how the link is like and when the person taps on it basically this is how it's gonna pop up and they are going to join your meeting that is if everything is on this is how android users and windows users are going to see it when you set up a meeting so that is one of the niftiest thing i have liked about this facetime and again what i really liked about this facetime too is you can now get special audio where maybe on the screen maybe when you're having a video on the screen you have about four people right here and the person talking from the left side you can just hear from the speakers that the person is talking from the left side if the person is speaking from the right side too you can hear from the speakers that the person is speaking from the right side and it makes you feel like the person is around you and it sounds very cool so that is one of the coolest thing too about facetime and again what you're gonna see in facetime is when you come to the video section right here i can't start a video right now but you're going to be able to turn on portrait mode and it will blur the background of everything behind you and just focus on your face and that is also one cool thing i think i like about this one because you might be walking somewhere and then someone might call you and you can just turn on the portrait mode to blur everything behind you and basically that is very cool you can also share whatever you play on facetime to every friend you are on the FaceTime with probably maybe you are having a group talk with your friends and you want to watch a movie together you can just play your movie from your Netflix or whatever video you have on your phone and they basically they're just also gonna get the video right there and then watch with you you can also share music you can play music right here on FaceTime and your friends are also gonna be able to just listen to whatever you are playing and they can also have the chance to also queue up songs wherever they are and after the next song they can also control it and also play with you right there so i think that is one cool thing i like about facetime and i'm waiting for more changes probably maybe in the next beta 15.1 15.2 i think maybe they are going to do a lot of changes which is really going to make this always very very cool so the next thing i want to share with you is in focus so when you scroll to your control center and then you come right here you're going to see focus right there and when you tap on it basically you're going to see a pop-up like this and you're going to see do not disturb personal sleep and then work so when you tap on do not disturb it's actually going to put your phone in the do not disturb mode which is already known to us and with the personal it's just gonna allow you to customize anything you feel like you want to customize and it's gonna give you um, the chance to pick the notifications you feel like you want to get at a given time and basically that is one of the niftiest thing i've really liked about this new focus right here when you tap on sleep too it's gonna give you the notifications you feel like you want to get when you are asleep and also anything you feel like you don't want to see whilst you're sleeping you can just put it up here and that is also very cool and same implies to work too anything you feel like you want to put them away when you are working you can just put it up here and that is basically very cool i think i like this focus feature right here and i'm going to do an in-depth video to show you how you're going to be able to set up your custom features too right here and one of the coolest thing to i liked about this new os is about notifications when you go here and then you go to schedule summary and you turn on schedule summary like this you're going to be able to schedule a time where you would like to get 
your notifications so let's say you pick an application like let's say youtube display and then tiktok and then you, you just add to next so you're gonna see um maybe at 8 a.m you're gonna get your first summary right here and then it's gonna give you every summary of your notifications you actually missed it's gonna just send everything to you right there at 8 a.m and you're gonna get everything you feel like you missed right there which is really cool because maybe you might be at work doing a whole bunch of stuff and you wouldn't get a chance to scroll through any notification that is going to come to you but with this schedule summary you're going to get a chance to get all your notifications back when you just schedule it at a time you feel like you want to see them again so i think that is basically one cool thing i like about this os and right now to spotlight is also very cool when you type in let's say a name um let's say anything you feel like you want to type it gives you the chance to see anything that has the te in this section where you feel like maybe it's a picture you are searching for and you put in te it's gonna give you everything that contains te so that you'll be able to just see whatever you are looking for and i think this is quicker than it used to be and that is also basically very cool again one thing ios 15 brought to us is about siri which right now siri works very very faster than it used to be and it responds to everything very very quickly than it used to be and one thing i like about siri too is the moment you start saying something siri is actually now going to pick it and wouldn't let it go it's always going to know it's like siri is recognizing our voice so maybe if every time i talk to siri siri will get to know that it's me they've tweaked up things to make siri pick up our voices and i think that is basically one of the niftiest thing i've liked about siri right here so another feature i also liked about was in mails so right now with mails you're going to be able to turn some settings on and when you turn those settings on you're not going to be able to retract and basically you can just hide your ip and then also some cool stuff of yourself and it wouldn't allow anyone to evade on your privacy and that is one of the coolest thing because iphone is actually more concerned about their users and their privacy and i think there is one thing too we are also going to be liking right here and this is all about safari when you go to safari now you can see that we have our part where we are going to be able to type in our website now taking from the top right here to the downside here so it's been changed totally and when you want to move from one page to another all you need to do is you swipe below like this let me just open another tab and I'll, i probably want to go to the next page i just have to swipe in between like this and i'll just go to the next tab and that is basically very cool so it's very very sleek now and now you can get a chance to create groups because maybe you are searching for products and all the products is all about let's say cameras you're going to be able to just group everything so let's say here cameras you're going to be able to just group everything right here and everything you are going to open right here is going to be about cameras so let's say i'm going to tap on it again and then get the pages for cameras right here so when i want to go to the next tab all i'm going to do is i'm going to tap here and actually switch to the next one which is going to be the old one i was actually using so when you check out right here you can see i have a different background right here and you can even change yours too you have to scroll down like this and you click on the edits right here and you're going to scroll through to pick any of these pictures right here you can even tap this side and you're going to pick any picture you feel like you want to pick right here and that is basically very cool it's just going to switch and then when i tap on the second one right here it's going to change mine totally so you can see right here you can change in between any picture you feel like you want to change and that is going to give you a new look on your safari browsers and again the new changes apple brought to us is about iclouds and with iclouds now you get a chance to get iCloud plus which comes in the form of an upgrade called iCloud relay where you're going to be able to hide your email and then this actually comes with a fee the same fee as it used to be for when you want to purchase iCloud so you're going to be able to just mask your IP addresses and also Safari browsing activities and nobody is going to be able to just track you with that so it's all about privacy privacy in this new iOS 15 and you can see right here hide my email and basically that is very cool so that is more about iCloud plus and one of the niftiest thing Apple also said about iCloud is we have something we call add legacy contact so with add legacy contact you can now add a person who is going to actually know your password you're going to share your password with them and when in case maybe you forget your password or you are no more the person is actually going to get a chance to control whatever or probably use your iPhone or retrieve something from your iPhone. So I think the most part I like is where you forget your password, you can contact them and they're just going to respond to you and also 
get back your iCloud password. So I think that is one of the niftiest thing I like about iCloud and it's basically very cool. So the other things we also saw was in health. When you go to health, it has a new thing right here, which is going to help you to just track everything you are doing. You can track the steps you take, anything you're doing, you can track the trends, how well you are being. And that is also very cool. And one of the coolest thing we had in health too was sharing where you're going to be able to share with someone. Probably you could add your kids and then you share their health too so that you know whatever is going on in their life so when you check right here you can check out and when you type their name their names and numbers are going to come for the sake of the video i don't want anyone's number to pop up right here and you're going to add them and probably track whatever is going on in their lives so you can just get a notification if maybe something is going wrong with them you can just track them and then get the notifications and you can just check up on them frequently so i think that is one cool thing i like about health sharing too and basically that is very cool and also we had new widgets right here which is mail widgets new clock widgets and then game center and then find my sleep widgets and then also app store so right now you can just get your app store right here when you tap on it you're just gonna go to your app store and that is basically very cool so these are the new widgets we had so far we've not gotten any interactive widgets like music right here i think maybe in the next updates it might come or something but we have this static ones right here and that is basically very cool so this is just the first impression of this ios 15 and i'm going to come up with new in-depth video on how you're going to be able to do anything on this os on your phone and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace